Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 9th to the 15th of October 2023. So we're really going to start to get a feeling of forwards motion now after a whole summer of retrogrades as Venus has finally come out of the retrograde shadow and on the 8th moved into Virgo. So Virgo does tend to have a lot of active energy towards it. It's uh, Earth sign which can be productive ruled by Mercury which is quite mental but also as we know it's the harvest cycle so it tends to be let's get to action let's make an action plan for the season and break it into small pieces so that we can reap the rewards so Venus into Virgo we're putting our heart into activity and thoughts that will lead to productivity over a long period of time usually nine months to a year uh, for something that we love something creative something that's meaningful to us so the Venus retrograde taught us to be present and live in, in the now, to get out of the overthinking behavioural patterns. But now we are centred in the heart, we can actually start to put that into an action plan. So have a think about what you want to put your heart into that will reap joyful rewards as we go into the autumn and the winter, in the school year and the harvest year. This is the perfect time to begin new projects. We had two Mercury retrogrades over the summer, one in... Gemini, the other one in Virgo, those are also over. And this week on the 11th, we have Pluto turning direct. So as I said last week, Pluto takes a long time to slow down, to be stationary and then to move forwards again. But this does add an undertone of forward motion as Pluto heads towards moving into Aquarius on the same day as the Sun in early 2024. We really are finishing off old business and clearing the path to stride forwards. So a powerful undercurrent can be felt when Pluto's on the move. And as Pluto moves from one sign to another, which only happens every 16 years, then we can really feel there's a change in vibration, a change in energy heading our way. As Pluto begins to move forwards, on the 13th of October, we have Mars moving into Scorpio and making a square aspect this week. So Mars is the earthly masculine and Pluto is the divine masculine. These two planets when making an awkward square alignment can bring power struggles or something erupting. It's like a volcanic energy, something bursting to the surface. So that's around the 13th and then we're walking into the eclipse on the 14th. So I think this will be quite a volatile week. Venus coming out of retrograde shadow, but then Libra ruled Venus having an eclipse on the 14th at the same time that Mars and Pluto square off. So looking at this eclipse, it's 21 degrees for those that are following along at 18.53 UK time. So we have the Sun and the Moon at 21 degrees Libra with Mars square Pluto. So where Libra wants to find the balance of the male and female, of me and you, that Mars and Pluto may show in quite a fiery way or from deep down in our depths where the imbalance lies so that harmony can be restored. This could also apply to balancing our masculine and feminine energy within ourselves because often life encourages us to be headstrong and willful and push forwards but sometimes going inwards and being present is a better practice learning to nurture cultivate and attract towards us also involved in this eclipse we have saturn at the zero degree point of pisces and the last degree or the first degree of a sign tends to have a huge amount of energy and potency. So Saturn will turn direct at the beginning of November, but there may be some memories, some reflections back to that point in our chart or to the mid to late June period, which is when Saturn turned retrograde. So another one getting ready to go direct, but we're having to sum up this whole experience. So we spoke about this quite a while ago. Pisces is boundaryless, it's etheric. It senses everything beyond the limitations of the five senses and picks up everything as frequency. But Saturn can come along and bring a backbone to that, it can bring a sense of discipline and structure. So have we firmed up ourselves in some way during this period? Do we have healthier boundaries, as they say? Do we have spiritual authenticity? And have we found our home tone deep within our bones, regardless of what frequencies are going on around us? A very, very deep retrograde there. But I bring it up now because it's actually involved in this eclipse as it's hitting a vital point, naught degrees Pisces. So to sum up, we have Venus moving into Virgo, putting our heart into something that we care about, setting a curriculum for the year 
having learned more about our values and valuing our time and energy over the summer, we have Pluto slowly turning direct, adding to a sense of forward motion and something big coming this way as we prepare for a lightning bolt of Aquarian energies in January. Mars moving into Scorpio, which is very deep and very energised, but could possibly bring a power struggle as there's a square to Pluto. And then the eclipse in Libra, pretty much summing up the Venus retrograde over the summer with a hat tip to Saturn and a vital point in Pisces, reminding us to go back and look at what we've learnt and what we can apply on Saturn retrograde's journey. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com, zoehind7 on Instagram, Zoe Astro on YouTube with all my other videos, and AstroZo on Facebook. I offer readings, astrology, tarot, numerology, courses in all of the above, and coaching sessions to help really dig things out at the roots and open up the way forwards. And please do like or comment or share these videos as it does help get them out to a wider audience. So lots of changes this week, a little bit of volatility entering into the eclipse season, but largely, apart from the daily ebbs and flows, real big sense of forward motion here, having really stopped and recentered, regained our power over the summer. So those are the horoscopes this week, and I'll see you next week.